Hey, good evening, YouTube. Brew by me, back again. Happy uh, International Stout Day. So that means I'm going to be doing another review on a stout, another room temperature stout. This one's from Denmark. This one is Experiment Black Forest One Smoked Imperial Stout. So it brings in at 10.4% ABV, so it's a big beer, 500 milliliter bottle using my St. Ambrose Russian Imperial Stout glass. So, without further ado, let's open her up and uh, give her a go. Some smokage there. Ooh, you can smell the smoke. Oh, it's going to be a doozy, this one. So, as I looked at the back of the bottle, so the front of the bottle, see that? See there's the focus. Ten point four percent alcohol. The Ontario label, which is at the back. <coughs> says eight point four. I don't know if it's gonna focus for you guys. No, it's eight point four percent is what the Ontario label says, but the Denmark label says 10.4. It's a 500 milliliter bottle. Um, it is in the LCBO right now. Hmm. So, without further ado, let's give it a smell and uh, go from there. Sweet malt, roasty, toasty malts. Some nice uh, smokiness, slight bit of coffee, maybe a slight bit of molasses, and that's all I'm picking up from the uh, bottle. So the beer is black as black can be, you can't see through it at all. Two fingers ahead, small to medium bubbles, nice looking head. So without further ado, let's dive in and give her a go. Not too bad. The initial sip is a nice, light, smoothie, silk, velvety kind of feel to the mouth. As it rolls across your tongue, you pick up the nice um, chocolate, coffee, uh, smokiness, kind of like Islay whiskey, uh, scotch, Islay with scotch, kind of like that slight bit of peaky, peaty smokiness. Very earthy, um, floral type of bitterness in the back, but not too bitter. The beer is kind of well balanced with the sweet bitter content. It's 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 quite interesting. It's 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 quite nice. Um, I thought it was going to be a big smoke bomb, but it's not. There's only a slight bit of smokiness, and then you get all the great stout qualities. Chocolate, coffee, molasses, roasty toastiness is delicious. Um, so yeah, if you guys can find it, Experiment Black Forest 1 and Smoked Imperial Stout, give it a go, because uh, it's quite tasty. Um, there's no alcohol burn at the back, 10.4, 8.4, whatever it is, don't know. Two different ABVs on the bottle, so I can't really um, tell you. There's no alcohol burn at the back. It's just a very nice, smooth, velvety mouthfeel. Very light to upper, like light to, to, to medium um, mouthfeel. Very soft carbonation. Um, 
you know, the back of the bottle says five different types of malts and four different types of hops, so that's quite, uh, you know, a nice little bit of complexity there. And this beer is room temperature, so my basement is uh, 18, and the beer cellar is about, there's a, a fan that cools it down to about 12, so it's about 12, um, 12 degrees. It's colder than my hands, but the upstairs here is about 20 degrees, so. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. If you guys are into stouts and want to try something that has a little bit of smokiness, not too much, experiment. Black Forest One, give it a go. <coughs> now, so, take a swig of it. Nice sweet malty characters up front. As it rolls across your tongue, you get up those nice roasty, toasty qualities. You do pick up the slight bit of chocolate, the slight bit of, uh, of, of, of coffee, a uh, slight bit of uh, smokiness, very earthy, um, floral type hop characteristics there. Hits the back of your throat, it's very, very smooth. Um, a slight bit of dryness, but not quite. That's about it. So, um, with the tastes and the flavors that I'm getting, I can probably have one or two of these, and I'll be okay with it. <sighs> Excuse me. But I don't know exactly what the ABV is because front of the bottle says 10.4, the back says 8.4. So, don't know what to tell you. <coughs> Anyways, uh, so malt profile. I got some two row in there some roasted malt in there, some black malt, some chocolate malt, and possibly, well, smoke malt, peated smoke malt, because that's the, uh, the smokiness, the Islay. Hops, Fuggles, Goldings, Fuggles, Goldings, East Kent, and I don't know. Those are the only three that I can come up with. So, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If you need any suggestions down there in the box, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, everybody is out. Bye.